In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I improved my shoe in on NBA 2K24 with my brand new 6'8 two-way stretch five. Okay, this build is very different. It's a brand new builder. This is not really going to be like a build video, but I know a lot of people are definitely going to be asking, you know, what the animations are for the jump shots and stuff. But I want to tell you a couple of things that I did to improve my shooting. But this is essentially what this build is looking like. Now, the reason why I call this build a two-way stretch five is if you guys noticed, the inside finishing is not the greatest in the universe, okay? So 75 driving dunk and a 75 standing dunk, I mean, they're not bad, but they're definitely not the best. Now, the whole purpose of this build is specifically to play with rec randoms. If you guys know rec randoms, the spacing is terrible in the rec. And you guys will see how much, how much more wide open you get when you actually make a build just purely to stay on the outside. Y'all can see the, the goal of this build is something to play great defense, so on a pick and roll, I can switch, I can hedge or whatever. And then on offense, I'm pretty much, you can say I have 90 strength. I'm pretty much just setting a screen and just waiting on the outside. I'm going to set a screen way on the outside. And anyways, I'll discuss that a bit more as we're going through the clips. You guys will be like, Fear, why are you always open? It's because guys don't make outside bigs. A lot of centers love to help. There's a reason I also made this build at the center. I could have made this at the power forward, but I wanted to be at the center because I know I'm going to get a lot more open shots um, being the, like a two-way stretch five, basically. But anyways, one of the main thing I did with my jump shot, um, you guys can see these are some of the animations I'm using. This build also don't have any playmaking. Okay, this is very, very key because you guys will see some of the moves I'm doing on this build and it doesn't have any playmaking. I get so surprised that people be coming into the wreck that has loads of playmaking on the build and they still can't create their own shot anyway. But yeah, a build that doesn't have any playmaking is doing better than what they're doing. But anyways, this is my jump shot that I'm using. Okay, this jump shot for me is really, really nice. This is the release I am using. I'm using Scotty Barnes and I'm using Luca. Okay, they both work pretty well for me because at the end of the day, timing stability doesn't play a lot of factor unless you're like a point guard, point guard because you're dribbling a lot. But if you're a center, timing stability only comes into effect if your stamina is low. I mean, how many shots do you take as a big or as a, you know, a stretch that your stamina is completely depleted? Not a lot of shots, right? So time and stability doesn't really play in a lot of facts in my, it's all the way I shoot the ball anyway. But defensive immunity, it does help quite a lot. So that way they don't really get a high contest on your, on your, on your jump shots. And the other thing I did, y'all can see as well, is for some reason after the patch it's very very trash with the with the shooting animation so i had to release my speed by one okay now i used to have full speed you can see the speed obviously goes up you get a plus but i had to really reduce my speed by one um and what i also did was that sometimes i switch between jump and set shot now i've been using set shot a lot on my uh, my new so taller builds but the shooting on the 6 8 for me is completely fine it's just as soon as i go on the tall build that's when the issue really starts to kind of come into play but anyways enough talking let's get into some of these clips okay you obviously be going crazy with the shooting on this build i went from like 40 percent to like 50 percent in the span of like three to four games and i played a lot of games on this build so that tells you how consistent i was shooting with it but anyway you always see the highlights anyway so let's go into the rec gameplay rec clips and yeah we're going to discuss more in terms of how the build works and how and why it's so effective um in the rec especially with randoms so here we are in the rec center, okay? I'm gonna show you guys from the, pretty much the beginning of the journey. I was struggling with the shooting, uh, you know, initially when I first made this build. Y'all can see I was shooting 40% from the three. And you guys will see how the, the, my shooting percentage kind of transitioned as the games went along. Now, like I said, I play a lot of centers. You can see centers. I love centers that even have high block on the builds because when centers have high block, they're more prone to help. A lot of people be complaining about rec randoms. Trust me, I hate playing inside bigs. I know some of you guys have an inside big and listen, I know you're probably good on it, but trust me, for more games than not, it's better just to be able to shoot the ball because on this build, y'all can see most of the time I'm just spun up in the corner. I'm patiently waiting. Y'all can see this guy's not even guarding me, right? Let him shoot wide open because centers are prone to help. Now, once you start to fill your jump shot a little bit, you can start to, you know, kind of mix up a little, like stuff, stuff like that. So my, my, my advice to you guys is first of all, get your jump shot timing down, okay? So feel comfortable shooting on the, on the three or the middle or whatever. Once you get the cue down, now watch this crazy shot with no playmaking. Look at this crazy shot I'm taking on this build. That's a Jimmy Butler hop, by the way. But that's when you be able to get those other shots into play, okay? You definitely want to be able to, you know, get comfortable with shooting your normal release first. And the other, the, the cue, you know, the post fade is always there um, on a build like this. Y'all can see I now I've gone to 44% after that first game. So 
I forgot to show you guys, but I'm, I'm gonna start showing you guys from now on. But the screenshot of my so my shooting percentages, um, game by game. But again, we have another guy that has an 89 block, and again, at this build, I don't really care. Y'all can, you know, have 99 block all you want. All I'm gonna do is set a screen and wait on the outside, okay? The reason why I have a bit of finishing on the build is sometimes when some of these bigs wanna play me too tight or too close, then I'm gonna cut to the paint. But majority of the time, I'm literally on the outside because the, the paint, the rec randoms, like I said, I made it to play the rec randoms. It's just completely crowded. You'll see how much wide open I'm getting. See how much wide open I'm getting? A lot of y'all be making those, all these inside bigs just been doing too much. Y'all be stressing yourselves out for no reason. Look look how much much more wide open I'm getting on these shots because centers refuse. They always refuse to guard a three. I don't know what it is about the three point. Look, look at my center all the way in the paint. I don't know what he's doing down there. He's leaving me wide open. But again, this also gives you more time to obviously focus on your cue when you're releasing your drum shot. No, this is, by the way, this is not just one guy. Okay, you're probably thinking fair. This is probably a one-off game. No, a lot of sends I play in the rec, they always leave me wide open. And if they don't, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a screen and I'm gonna pop. Y'all can see where the center is, okay? He's nowhere near me. He is nowhere near me to me. So for me, it's like, y'all be making all these inside big, just be doing too much. You're in there. Watch this crazy move. Like, look at this Jimmy Butler move. Again, bear in mind, this build does not have any playmaking. And we are still killing players with no playmaking and this is obviously we end up shooting four for four in that game and you can see i still got i got 20 rebounds so even though i'm on the outside i still out rebounded him by like 16 rebounds so because this build is great defensively like i said what i do is play great defense grab my rebounds chuck you know pass on to my teammates now we've gone up to 47 percent on the three point percentage but it doesn't matter what kind of center i'm guarding to be fair i prefer to play against taller centers because they're more prone to help Builds that have block, you know, I'm gonna, I won't, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I have block on my build and I have a, a, a send that's sitting on the outside, I'm also more prone to help because I want to, you know, I have block. I need to make put it to good use. But trust me, a lot of centers sooner or later, it's a patient game, right? You set screens, you set screens, you wait on the outside. Look, I'm telling you, this is another game, right? You see why wide open I am? I'm telling you guys, bro, make up a, a, a shooting big, okay? If you can make a big a build that can shoot. Look how much wide open you are on the outside. You'll be going in the paint where there's like 50 dudes in there and you guys will complain there's no space. I'm just gonna stand on the outside. Look, they keep leaving me. The centers just keep leaving. Now, the sad thing about this build is y'all let me know, right? For some reason, I can't get too many games consistently <clears throat> on this build. And I don't know why that is. Like if I go on my power forward, if I go on my stretch, you know, my, my small forward builds, I get games consistently, like watch this crazy move, man. But like I said, you all wanna get your normal shooting down before you start attempting these kind of shots, okay? I see people trying to take middies, but I can, they're still missing their threes, okay? Once you get the cue down for these jump shots, now, when I'm using early, or not early, or what's uh, it's called uh, jump, jump is basically before my guy flicks his wrist, right? Now watch this obviously off dribble as well. Before my guy flicks his wrist, that's what jump is. And uh, if you guys don't know, set, or set point is basically when you're actually releasing the ball from your hands. Now, I have been playing a lot of my um, my taller builds, my seven footers. Um, again, this is another game where I shot really, really well. Six for nine. I mean, it's not perfect. And I don't shoot perfect every single game. I grabbed another 20 rebounds. So, um, anyways, I've been using set shot a lot of my builds, especially for my taller ones. And you release as you're releasing the ball. That's what I feel comfortable with. I cannot go any later than that. The other advice I'll give to you guys is if you're using um set point try to use push and if you're using push try to use release because for some reason i think the game kind of slowed down or i don't know how it works but it, it, you have to use a later release in order to get the same cue which is very very odd in, on the game but all these patches all the hot fixes you can see now we've gone up all the way to 50 percent <clears throat> on this final game and you would think someone's probably thinking oh this guy shoots 50 percent from three let me guard him on the three i'm telling you when you guys make outside bigs it's so much more easier. It's way more fun to play the game because all I do is set screens, wait, wait for them. You'll see the centers. Like, <laughs> these are different games. I don't want you guys to be like, oh, yeah, you got lucky for one game. I play on this build every time and I'm just wide open. Look at them. Look at them. Look at both of them. Look at both of them. <laughs> <laughs> bro, look at those guys. My teammates are flopping now. These are complete randoms. I don't know any of these guys. I don't. I don't like explosive squads. But look again, wide open jump shot. Again, this is a two-way stretch five. I specifically, I specifically put 83 ball on this build because I wanted to be able to shoot consistently. But again, if I need to go into the post, 
But I would definitely warm up with Shin on the outside. You know, with Shin 100% from three this game. I think I missed maybe one shot. But again, for some reason, you're probably thinking, fair, why are you always wide open? It's because you guys don't make outside bigs. You always see why I always complain about people not making these outside bigs. You all want to be making this inside. I want to be on the inside. I want to be on the inside. Bro, you're just going to be there with 50 other dudes, okay? Where you can just go on the outside. Look at them. Just running away life is easy now like i said this build can dunk so I, i'm just not showing the dunking highlights like i said this is not uh you know a build video but i want to show you guys one quick one right there so we'll kind of end it off but hopefully that kind of i'm not gonna lie you know i've been playing quite a lot again on my taller builds and i've been changing my jump shot and i'm using i'm currently using set point and set point has actually been working wonders for me um the only thing I'm having slight issues with, it's not actually the jump shot, it's actually the post hops, you know, the post hop timing for some reason, they completely changed it. Now I'm just resorting to taking normal dribble pull, like midi pull ups, and the midi pull ups are way more consistent than my post hops at the moment. Again, I will show you that other build at, at a later point. Your boy's always making new builds, trying to try new things, but this is my two way stretch five. It has been going crazy. It definitely has improved my shooting. The only problem with this build and the reason I stopped playing on it is because I just don't get any games. My friend made a center too recently. I told him to make a center like a seven foot center and he was also struggling to get games to the point where when every time we both load up into the rec solo thing, I'm consistently getting games as a power forward and, and as a small forward. So I don't know what it is. You all let me know if you guys are also experiencing that issue struggling to get games on your center builds. I don't know if it's just 2K, the matchmaking is all messed up. I don't know what it is, but anyways, Hopefully you guys can apply some of these tips, you know, kind of help you out. That's how I improve my shooting anyway, slowing everything down. And it's been working wonders for me. Anyways, hope you enjoy this video and I will catch you in the next one.